Welcome back to Anderson Smoke Show. Today we are out at my master built Gravity Series 560 and we're gonna smoke some chicken wings. So stick around and see how we do it. If you're new here, I'm here to show you the backyard barbecue can be fun and easy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell. Like the video, write me a comment, let me know what you think. Now let's get started with these chicken wings. I picked up about four and a half pounds of fresh, never frozen chicken wings from my local butcher. I love getting them from there because not only are they a great size, but they're also fresh. Now I've already marinated these for one hour in a Ziploc bag with Italian dressing. Pulled them out, strained off the dressing and dried them up a little bit. So it's time to get them seasoned. I like to take a little bit of olive oil and spritz on top just to give the seasoning something to stick to. I don't wanna to get too crazy though, but using a little bit of oil will also help crisp up the skin. I brought some of my favorite seasonings with me. The Suckle Busters Competition Rub, the Suckle Busters Honey Barbecue, the Bearded Butcher's Hollywood Seasoning, and my absolute favorite on chicken, and that is the Suckle Busters Clucker Dust. Now it's time to season these up. Start out with some of my uh, competition barbecue rub from Suckle Busters, and I'm just gonna do a, a few wings in each uh, of these four seasonings. And I laid out some foil below just to catch any excess seasoning so I don't make a mess. And so I'm going to be a little generous with it, though. All right, so I did these here. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over and do the other side so I don't forget which ones have the competition rub. Going to take my olive oil and just do a quick spritz across the back. And then I'll come in here with my competition rub. Season up the back side of these wings. Now on some of these bigger drums, I'm actually gonna have to do the other sides as well. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move on to my Hollywood seasoning by Bearded Butchers. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna work across one of the rows. It's funny how similar these, these rubs look. It's gonna to be tough to tell them apart, but I'll try and keep them in order so that I know. Actually, I'm gonna to need to buy some more of this. I'm starting to run low. We've got these wings seasoned up. They are looking good. It is time to get the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 560 fired up and get these wings in. It's time to get the Master Build Gravity Series 560 fired up, but before we do, I wanna introduce some new product here. Master Build has came out with their own lump charcoal and fire starters. These fire starters are made to fit specifically into these Master Build Gravity Series smokers, so I'm pretty excited to use these, and you should be too. Master Built and I have teamed up on this video, and we are going to give away free lump charcoal and free fire starters to 10 winners. What I want you to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and in the comment section, hashtag lump. That is hashtag L-U-M-P. Put that down in the comments. You have exactly one week from the time this video releases, and I will pick 10 winners, and Masterbuilt will send you two bags of lump charcoal and a box of fire starters for your Masterbuilt Gravity Series. Good luck. Let's get this thing loaded up. Now, before I get started with the charcoal, I'm gonna throw a few pieces of cherry hardwood down in there into this empty hopper because I want to introduce some smoke immediately onto that chicken. We'll go one more. And we'll pour some charcoal in on that. Yeah, I like to add a little bit more wood. I like to layer that wood and charcoal. And we'll top it off. We'll top it off with some more charcoal. All right, so it's time to take a look at these new Masterbuilt fire starters here. And they are 
basically uh, a nice little block here. I'm gonna say for this, we're gonna break them in half, length, uh, long-wise, and they break pretty easy, just a little bit of force. And I'm gonna say about three cubes. They do have these broken down into four cubes or four squares. Should be enough to get this started. All right, let's get this fire starter in, and these are meant to fit perfectly into that slot there for the fire starter. I've got my butane torch. With these starters, you could use just a regular lighter, but this is what I keep out in the garage. So use that to just get this thing lit. I can tell you right now, this is lighting a lot faster than my other fire starters that I've been using. So I think these are gonna work out really well. We're gonna give this a few minutes to get that hopper lit. We'll check in then. All right, it's been about five minutes, and as you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming up out of this hopper. It is time to get it closed. But before we do, I'm gonna pull out these air vents here. We are going to close the hopper lid here, close the ash clean out. We're gonna turn the grill on here and set the temperature for these wings. We're gonna start at 225 degrees. The fan just kicked on. We're gonna let this grill get up to 225 degrees and we'll see you then. All right, the grill is up to 225 degrees. It's time to get these wings in. Let's do it. All right. And I'm using this wire rack. It's just gonna help me move all of these wings much, much easier. And it fits perfectly down into the smoker. Now I don't smoke my wings at 225 to completion. I'm gonna give it a half hour at 225 just to slap some smoke onto those chicken wings. At that point, we're gonna bump that temperature up so that we can get you a crispy finish on them wings. We'll see you then. All right, so the wings have been in the master belt for a half hour at 225 degrees. It's time to get this cranked up to 300. Now, I don't expect this to take too, too long. Uh, we're gonna check the internal temperature here just to see where we're at. We will flip these wings at some point, depending on where we're at here. We still have about 30 plus degrees to go. So I'm gonna come back out in about 10 minutes and flip these over. We'll see you then. All right, it's time to flip these wings. We just wanna make sure that they're cooking evenly and that they crisp up on both sides. So I just got my tongs here and I'm gonna get in here and just start flipping them. This is gonna take me a couple minutes. Ooh, that one looks good. I'm a flats guy, to be honest with you. It's my favorite. All right, got them all flipped over. Give them a little bit more time, we'll come in and check the temperature. All right, we're gonna check these wings here, and I think we're gonna bump the temperature up to 350 degrees, just to tighten up that skin just a little bit more. They are really close to being done though. I'm gonna come in here, bump that up to 350. Oh, that's 60. There we go. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, these wings are done. It is time to get them off the smoker here. They are looking good. Got some beautiful color on them wings. A few of them got a little dark. That master belt isn't exactly even. That's something you gotta keep an eye on. I checked the internal temperature though and everything is at a, at least 165 degrees. Let's set these off side, let them firm up a little bit and we'll give them a try. Don't forget to shut off your grill. Just press and hold the power button, that'll shut it off. And all you have to do is press in both of those air vents and give that thing some time. It'll cool down, it'll choke the fire out and you'll be good for the next time. These wings are done. It is time to give them a try. And I'll be honest with you, I freaking love wings. They got a nice finish. Time to give them a try. Mm. Now 
Now it's tasty. Flats are my favorite. I'll try another one. This one here, this is going to be that honey barbecue. Mm. Skin's got a little crisp to it. It's nice. If you like wings and you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time at Anderson Smoke Show. Thanks again for tuning into Anderson Smoke Show. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out that recommended video, then my Facebook and my Instagram pages. I'll see you there.